Good morning, bro chicas. I'm starting a new vlog today. It is Wednesday. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's Wednesday already. Yeah, Wednesday, January 5th, I believe. I'm so bad at knowing the dates. I always have to check my phone like a million times. Right now, it's kind of gloomy outside. It's raining and then freezing. So, um, they said not to like drive anywhere if you don't have to. So I'm just staying in today. Uh, yesterday, I put on a couple of like little lash thingies because um, I had some left over and then they got all messed up. So they look kind of weird. I really need to or order some from Flutter Habit. <clears throat> I just haven't done so yet. Um, yeah, so I was editing my last vlog. I'm uploading that right now. I'm watching Shit's Creek again, and I'm really hungry. It's 10 o'clock, so I just made myself a little brunch. I have an onion bagel with chive and onion cream cheese and two scrambled eggs with a little bit of cheese on it. I'm going big because um, I'm running low on Slim Fast Shakes, so I didn't use that today. I didn't drink that today, and so this is going to be like my breakfast and my lunch to hold me over to dinner, so um yeah got no plans today really i did call my insurance i finally was able to reach them so they're sending me over a temporary dental insurance card to my email and then the list of providers um in my area in my network and so yeah hopefully that comes through they said if you don't have it in like 10 15 minutes call back and i was like all right good 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 so i'm feeling a little bit better about that um yeah, that's basically all I have going on. I did do my eye patches. Um, I was going to show you, but something went wrong with my vlog. <laughs> you guys will see if you watch that last vlog. I accidentally deleted a clip, a pretty big clip from my vlog. And I was so frustrated, but it took me forever to export it and upload it. So here are my little gels. I did my gels. I'm going to be, tr I'm going to try to be better about using the eye gels um because I feel like the creasing has been really bad under my eyes lately so um another thing I was doing this morning was like looking through my clothes and stuff and seeing what I have that would work for work clothes at Starbucks and I do have two pairs of jeans that will be fine but it's looking like I'm gonna have to go get some tops because I only have one black long sleeve top and nothing else would work I just have like a bunch of graphic tees you know um, so I need to get a couple more work tops. So that I'm not going to go on the roads today though, because it's raining and it's freezing, but, um, that's just something I got to do soon. Good morning. I just took a shower and got dressed. I'm just wearing Miss Shein graphic tee again. I love this t-shirt <laughs> and I'm wearing a, uh, just a gray cardigan with some black leggings. I'm probably going to wear a Carhartt beanie. I have a black Carhartt beanie that I'm going to wear. And yeah, this is the comfy outfit of the day. We have some nice sun today, which is good. We have snow coming this weekend. Um, so I'm going to go to Walmart today. We're going to go to Walmart. I got to get some tops for work. I have two bottoms I can wear, but I might look at more bottoms. And then I did find my sports bras that I used to wear at work. So I have those. Um, who wears real bras to work? Not me. I don't, I'm not even wearing a real bra now. Like I try to avoid it as much as possible, but I just need a few tops. So yeah, that's what we're doing for today. Also did want to show you um, that I found a couple more Milani products at Dollar Tree the other day. So they had two colors of this. Uh, what is it called? What is it called? Make it last setting powder. I got the shade for radiant. So it's like a translucent radiant. It's, it kind of has like a little bit of shine to it. Um, and the other color was for deeper skin tones. And then I also found uh, this Prime Shield Face Primer Mattifying Oil Free. Um, this one is also absorbing oil. And then I also went ahead and bought this brush cleaner, makeup brush cleaner. I really do need to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm going to try to also look for this uh, soap called Zote Soap at Walmart because that's what I wash it with. So hopefully they have it. All right, y'all, I just got into Walmart and there is so much clearance. 
I can't decide if I should just show you in this video or a different video. Probably just this video because I need to focus on shopping. So I'll just show you a couple things. All right, so these are probably from last year, but they brought them out to put on sale for $3, originally $6. So if you need biker shorts for the upcoming spring, get them now. And then I'm noticing over here, all of these like flared legging pants that they usually have in a bunch of different styles is on clearance for $5 from $7.88. So they've got this shiny one, the black and white stripes. They've got this like black crocodile one. Uh, let's see. There's this. Oh, is this one not on sale? Okay, so maybe it's just those colors then. Maybe they consider this one like a spring. And also this one is not on sale. So yeah, it's just going to be... And I don't think it's this one either actually. So it's just going to be this like glittery army style or the pinstripes. Oh my gosh, they put out new spring stuff, I guess. Um, but this is like a bunch of velour, like track suits. There's a couple different styles. So there's biker shorts and then there's this top. It comes in black as well. And then there's these bottoms that say Angel. These are $12.98 and then the top is $14.98. But then there's also black with like a heart embroidered on it. I don't think those are velour. Those are like regular sweatshirts. This little heart one for Valentine's Day. So this time and true cardigan is $4 on clearance. So that's what it looks like. And then there's also this blue one. So that's also $4. All right, just got back from the store. I'm gonna show you what I got. So luckily, the sh kind of shirts that I needed were on sale. I think I showed them to you in my last Walmart shop with me. Um, they are just the regular Time and True relaxed fit long sleeve t-shirts. They're originally $6 and I got them for $4 each on clearance. So I got the size extra large, which is a 16, 18 and they're 100% cotton. They have like a little stretch to them. They're not too thick, which I like because I can wear them into spring. Um, and honestly, I get really hot while I'm working. Like gen generally when I work at Starbucks, I always wear short sleeve shirts, even if it's cold in winter, but they don't really have much short sleeve shirts right now. And it is winter, so I was like, fine, I'll just get these. They're on clearance. It's fine. I'll roll them up if I need to. But yeah, I got two of these black ones. And then I also got a gray one because gray is also part of the dress code. So just to like switch it up, I guess. And then I found, I was looking around the clearance to see if there was anything good. And I found these pair of pants for $1. One dollar, y'all. <laughs> that is crazy, dude. So these are time and true core jeggings. They're in a size XXL, which is equivalent to a 20, it says, but they really don't look like a 20. Um, so just keep that in mind that not all of the brands and styles from time and true at Walmart are consistent because this definitely doesn't look like a 20 to me, even though it's like stretchy. It's it doesn't look like a 20. It looks like a 16. Yeah, it looks like a 16. So I did the neck trick where I wrapped it around. Fits perfectly. So I feel like they're going to fit. Um, and these are like a dark gray color. And they're jeggings. So these are actually in dress code because they have the dark gray. So I could wear that with the black top. Just have an extra pair of pants. Because technically you're not allowed to have like rips in your jeans. And in one of the pairs of black jeans that I have, it does have one rip on the knee, but the apron is going to cover it. So that's why I'm going to wear them. Um, but anyways, what else did I get? So kids needed some more socks. Not too much, but I just felt like they didn't have enough. Like I feel like we're always searching for socks. So I just got them some six packs of socks. These are for Mila, some neon colors. And then I also got these Sonic ones for Austin because he loves Sonic. So, got those for the kids. 
Um, I got more of my Slim Fast Shakes because they always have more flavors at Walmart than they do at Price Chopper where we get our groceries. So I went ahead and got the strawberry flavor and I got the Brita filter because we needed a Brita filter. That was one of the reasons why I had to go to Walmart as well. I got myself some Tarani sugar-free classic caramel syrup for my coffee because I bought this one. Oh, I just opened the drawer with my sweater. I bought this one at Big Lots and it was only $1.99 and I was like, that's awesome. I'm going to try it. It's toffee flavored, but it really tastes like super fakey. And I know it's like sugar free, carb free, calorie free. Like it's one of those zero everything. So of course it's not gonna taste that good. I guess when I did keto back in the, not that I'm doing keto, I'm just saying like, I guess back in the day when I used to drink the syrups that were zero everything, um, when I was doing keto, I never had real desserts or real sugar, so anything tasted good. But because I do have sugar and carbs, this tastes awful to me. It's terrible. But I will say that the Tarani syrups, and they have different flavors. They have raspberry, vanilla, hazelnut. That might be the, and caramel. I think that might be the extent of the flavors. But even though this is also zero everything, this tastes much better than like the skinny Jordan syrups and all of that stuff. This has way better flavor. So I bought that. I got Hubby's favorite ice creams. You guys, these ice creams are $8. It's ridiculous. There's only three and they're $8 because it's Rebel and it's four grams of carbs, less than one gram of sugar. It's keto friendly and all that. Isn't that crazy? But those are Hubby's favorite ice cream. So yeah, that is, that's all I got uh, for today's Walmart shop. I thought I was going to have more fun. Um, like, I don't know why I thought it was going to be fun shopping for basic work tops. But obviously they're basic work tops. So no, it wasn't that much fun. <laughs> and I tried to kill some more time by like being in there for a while. But they're, it looks like they're starting to get their sp spring stuff out there. I showed you guys a couple clips, but it's not fully done yet. So I'll have to do, maybe like in a couple weeks, I'll have to do another Walmart shop with me. So it is 12 now and I'm going to have some lunch. I just made this, well not made it, it was a chopped salad kit, Southwest flavor. <clears throat> so it has like a Southwestern ranch, uh, tortilla strips, and some like pepper jack cheese I think and then I added um, a couple of slices of turkey cold cuts just to get some more protein in and this is the whole bag it doesn't come out to too much so I always just put it in a big bowl and like mostly eat all of it um, this morning I just had a slim fast so I'm like already really hungry I'm gonna charge my phone and then I'm gonna just watch TV good morning I woke up to this <laughs> hello so as you saw it has been snowing it looks like we have like i don't know four four or five inches of snow pretty decent amount i think that's the most snow we've gotten all at once and it looks to be like it's still going it's just like really small flakes but it's still going strong Hubby has been gone since 1 a.m. because he had to go plow and he works <clears throat> an hour away. So that's why he had to leave so early. Also, it was starting at like 2 a.m. where he's plowing, which is on the eastern side of Massachusetts. It's They're supposed to get more than the west, which is opposite because usually the west where we are gets more snow. So it's like backwards this time. <laughs> so he's out there plowing. He's been there, like I said, like 2 a.m. The kids obviously have a snow day, so they are home with me today. And hubby has no idea when he's gonna be able to make it home because they don't know when it's gonna be stopping. Uh, they estimated a certain amount of snow and now they're getting even more snow and it shouldn't stop until like 4 p.m. So hopefully the roads will be safe for him to, hopefully it stops and the roads will be safe enough for him to come home at four, um, hopefully. Um, if not, he might have to sleep over there at his shop, like at the work 
place of work. So I hope that doesn't happen. That would really suck. Oh, I'm already bored and lonely. Even though he would normally be at work at this time anyways, like, I don't know. I guess I miss him knowing that he's been gone like all night. So, um, yeah, I was thinking, I feel, I feel really lazy, first of all, because I started my period. So I kind of like don't want to do anything. I actually did do the dishes and clean the counters and I bleached the sink because it was bothering me. It was all dirty in the kitchen. So the kitchen's clean. So that's good. Um, but I'm feeling like lazy but also not lazy. Do you know what I mean? Like I want to do something, but I don't want to do anything. I don't know if that makes sense, but I get like that on my period. So I was like, okay, I could make use of this snow day, this like really chill day that I have. I could do a um, self-care day and film it. So I could bring you guys some content and I really could use a nice self-care day and like I haven't done a lot of like skincare and like foot mask and all that I could do that so I'm thinking about doing that so I think I'm gonna film that on a separate video it'll probably be up before this one so make sure to check it out if you like self-care stuff and I'm gonna try to use different things that I haven't used in a while so so that I'm not repetitive good morning Berchicas it is Monday January 10th <laughs> um, I am in my car as you can see I'm waiting for it to heat up and then I need to go to a dentist appointment a long overdue dentist appointment I have two cavities over here I've been complaining about them to you guys um, I don't know if they're gonna get to do the fillings today because they always have to check it out first and it's a new place to me so that kind of sucks but at least I'm getting the ball rolling on getting them filled because so they are Sorry, I'm chewing a mint. They are really, really painful, and I've been sh like suffering, honestly. Every time I drink something cold, eat something hot, it hurts so bad. And then my jaw's been hurting too. Like, just my jaw in general. I've been having to take like medicine every single day for pain. So that's not good. But yeah, that's uh. That's like the only place I have to go today is just the dentist. And I have a week of appointments, man. Like I have a lot of stuff to do this week. Um, I have Mila's dentist appointment this weekend. I have an RMV appointment to change over my license, finally. Um, what are, and that's on Friday. And then what else do I have? Oh, I have, I'm starting work this week. So tomorrow's my first day of training. Um, and then Thursday I work as well. And then on the 17th, which I think is next Monday. Yeah, next Monday is my first COVID vaccine shot. So I got a lot of stuff coming up, but it's all stuff that has to get done. Um, anyways, I'm just rambling because I'm letting my car heat up. How are you today? How is your life? Okay, so I'm back from running my errands. I actually had to go to Walmart uh, to pick up my husband's prescription and some Sensodyne toothpaste for my teeth because it ends up that that dentist is not in my network. So I didn't get to do anything today at the dentist and that sucks. So I called one that should be in my network. I'm waiting on a call back. I'm so frustrated. <laughs> but anyways, I got Sensodyne toothpaste, so hopefully that can hold me over till I get it fixed. Um, right now, I am just cleaning. So I just vacuumed. I got to sweep because all the salt from outside, from the snow and the ice or whatever, is like tracking in. So I'm going to sweep and mop, and I'm just going to chill for the day. So I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog here, but no worries, I will start a new one. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm also going to be posting another Walmart shop with me, like clearance finds, because I did film while I was in there. There was some really good stuff, so that will be up right after this video. So stay tuned. Love you guys. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!